Hi, greetings, it's me, Dr. Paul Gerhardt, and I want to welcome you to Management 194. This is a great course, and we use the best book out there for uh, understanding leadership theories. Now, a lot of people like to shy away from leadership theory in general, but please know that uh, theory is important because what it says is that scientists have taken real leaders and evaluated using various systems some theories uh, to see whether or not uh, in the, in, as a whole that these theories really do help people be successful or that it helps you be able to understand a particular phenomenon. So I know that the book has uh, some serious uh, pages to it and that there's a lot of powerful content in there that you may have to read a few times as you go through each chapter. Uh, to help you in this uh, quarter make it a powerful learning experience, you'll see that I've given you the link to the publisher's website. Do really try to use the flashcards, watch the videos, and use the other exercises, even the pre-quizzes in the publisher's website to help you see whether or not you really understood the concepts of that chapter and to help test your knowledge before you actually take the quizzes in Canvas. So let me tell you how to be successful in this class. One, I've already mentioned that there is a, a, a a free publisher website that's got information and videos and other resources like flashcards to help you really learn the concepts. What you need to know is that learning is an active process. So please, please, please study to learn. Schedule time on a calendar. Write it down when you're going to study the chapters. Generally speaking, both chapters are, are are due on uh, discussion questions are going to be due uh, each week for each chapters and it really is important that you set yourself up for success to show that you understand each of the concepts uh, what you need to know also is there's going to be a quiz found in canvas in the modules area for the week that uh, is due for the related chapter or chapters of the week so what you do is you go into Canvas and you find the Modules section on the left-hand side. Uh, in Week 0, click the Week 0, that's the week before school starts, and read the expectations, read the syllabus, uh, and then do your biography. Introduce yourself. Uh, this is really important to introduce yourself in a meaningful way because it will help us as we start to get to know you and work with you understand why you believe what you believe. You know, what is it that you can bring to help us make this a powerful learning experience? Two, when you write your biography, people are going to be looking at it because there's a, a team project here. And uh, you're going to get to choose four or five other team members to help you write the final paper. And I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But what I need you to do is to please uh, make a meaningful biography, go in the week zero module, read the syllabus carefully, do your biography, and then take the syllabus quiz. And then, before the end of the week, read the biographies of everybody that's here in Management 194 and see who you would like to join your team. Then contact them through the inbox feature and say, hey, I want you on my team. Uh, you look like you're going to be interesting and I promise you I'm going to be an excellent team member. And then you got to follow through. Every week you should be making time to work on the paper and uh, work with team members and listen closely, please. Every team member needs to be working on every section. Do not assign sections for people to do. Everybody must work on the whole paper. So you can start sections, but you need to be evaluating and editing because part of your grade comes from the work that everybody does. 
If you have a team member that is not participating, not scheduling time to have meetings, and you can meet via Skype, or you can come to a campus or a location that works best for the majority of you, then at the end you can let me know and I won't give them points for doing the assignment. I want everybody to do the points. But the final paper due in week nine is to help show that everybody has learned the key concepts of the paper. So you must work on the paper throughout the term. Be proactive about that. So I've told you, all of the weeks have module sections in Canvas. Your grades are being recorded only on the work that's required in each of the modules. So you'll have two discussion questions due on Wednesday each week. You'll have at least one chapter or two chapters due each week, and so you can start reading those and taking good notes. The more you read it, the more that information becomes real to you. And then I highly suggest you go and use the publisher website to do the flashcards and learn the other uh, material. So that publisher's website is really, really important, but you will not get graded on what's on the publisher website. So uh, and I'll send out on Monday every week an email to tell you what week we're in. And then you're required to make sure that you do the two discussion questions, and both discussion questions are due on Wednesday of each week. You need to have at least 250 words minimum. Show me in your own words that you understand the key concepts of the related chapter to that question. And then it's your job throughout the rest of the week to read the answers of your peers, reflect on them, and then reply back for each discussion question to three other students in a meaningful way. 90 words or more. Really show that you understand the concepts of the related uh, chapter and also that you really have considered what your peer has written. So show that you've understood what your peer has written. And then by Saturday, make sure that you do the quiz or quizzes that are found in that week's module um, before time is up. They're timed quizzes. There are only 10 questions for each quiz and each quiz you'll only have 12 minutes. So that means you can't be looking up every question. Yes, uh, you will lose your opportunity to gain the points from the quizzes if you do not submit the quiz by Saturday. I will not reset a quiz for any reason. So don't wait until the last moment. Say it with me. I will not wait until the last moment to take the quiz. Take it early. But you only have one opportunity to take the quiz that's found in that module. It's due no later than the due date found in Canvas, and you only have 12 minutes to do that quiz. So that essentially is the course. You've got discussion questions, two of them each week. You've got three peer replies that are due each week for each discussion question. You've got a quiz for each chapter. And then uh, you've got a final paper that you should be working on all the time. If you send me an email, I'll set up a discussion area for you to work and collaborate with, with your team members. But please, please, please read the syllabus carefully. It spells out how to be successful. Uh, your professors are all being held equally accountable for making sure students are being held equally accountable for these very clear grading requirements. Uh, the modules close out each week, so you'll lose the opportunities to gain the points for that module. So use a physical calendar to schedule time for success. You know that we're going to be doing one or two chapters each week. Print out the syllabus. Take a look at the the handout that I gave that shows which chapters we're going to be working on. It's your responsibility to make sure that you're in the right chapters according to the subject. So I've put the, if you have a different edition of the book, uh, you do need to make sure that you've got the right theories for that week because I know there are older editions that are out there or other editions out there that will have the same titles and information but the chapter number may change so do make sure that you're lining up with the chapter name that I've described so situational leadership for instance or psychodynamic approach for instance so pay attention to both the chapter number and the uh, the title of that chapter. 
that's where your quizzes are coming from. The quizzes are based on the assigned related chapters of the day. So in week one, chapter one will be assigned. In week two, chapter two will be assigned. And you've got discussion questions related to those chapters and quizzes related to those chapters. So please write it on a calendar. Schedule time for a success. Every Wednesday, your discussion questions are answered. Every Saturday, your quizzes are due. And every Saturday, your three peer reports or do get them done early don't wait till Saturday to do it I know sometimes people forget and I will not reset an assignment or open up an assignment for any reason you need to be responsible make this class a priority the answers are in the syllabus and if you have questions after reading the syllabus send me an email uh, give me a call I'm happy to help I want everybody to have a powerful learning experience Please schedule time to connect with your team every week and everybody needs to be working on every single section of the paper each week. It's a powerful learning experience. You've got the best book. You've got a professor that truly cares about your success and I need your help in engaging in a meaningful way in each discussion questions. I hope you enjoy the course and have a great day. Only you get to choose how you feel about it.